If we begin looking at this Aiki Kimiwaza, starting with a Sankyo takedown, um, often we practice the end on our knees, but for this for this series we're going to stay up on our feet, barring the arm, just like number one uh, from the uh, second set, Ura Gyaku Kimiwaza Ropa from our Nimpo tradition. Notice the arm is straight. This gives me the ability to leap away, stay engaged, you know, I can, but I'm free to move and Uke is powerless. Our second step here, I'm going to drop my knee onto the floating rib, barring the arm, keeping that arm straight. Notice that my right foot is trapping his hand. Uh, if the hand's up, that's available for you. If not, you can try to step on an ear or skin. Third piece, drop to our knees. And uh, similar to... Uh, the technique in the Kimiwaza, uh, Ninpo Kimiwaza, except instead of leaning over the person, we're going to press down, taking my fingertips to the to the floor, like so. Now you can use both hands, um, or one, or one hand. The next one we're going to roll the hand over. It's easier to roll the hand over by grabbing the fingertips, like so. Then pulling your left hand towards your chest as if you're going to do a shoot though to your own to your own ribs, and then your other hand pulls in towards your groin. This applied to the arm causes extreme pain. Good for controlling. The next piece here from this uh, from this technique, okay pulls his arm down or it's too low for you to get into that last piece so what you're going to do is you're just going to wrap the arm around your knee this way or fit your knee into that space at the bend of his arm and then rotate to the outside you can grab his head and pull towards you his arm and pull towards you you could grab handcuffs or rope or whatever to tie him up a cell phone to hit him with <laughs> anything this last piece from here is to Bend his arm fully, sliding over onto your onto your knee, bringing your other leg up, trapping his arm. This gives you the opportunity to also pull his arm up or his head, um, trapping his arm this way behind him. This is one way to uh, free up both of your hands to further control, manipulate, or whatever. So starting from the beginning, we got one. Dropping that knee on the floating rib, stepping over, uh, trying to get an ear or two, drop down, fingertips towards the floor, spiraling motion, grab those fingertips to roll his hand over, place your knee into that space, rotate the knee outward away from him. Next one is to bend his arm as you step over, bending the back of his hand against your thigh, this creates a nice takeori sensation. Bring your other knee up slowly, trapping the arm. Notice both hands are free, his arms bent in a chicken wing type of action, Kansetsu, with the takiyori, and both your hands are free. Uke is, is rendered powerless in this position. Um, notice that back of that hands against the thigh. If I squeeze my knees together, that can apply more pressure onto the wrist.